Oh, hell is breaking loose already. The rails have can't come off. Come here. channel behind me we still have this 1964 beetle you know the little the little nice light blue bug we've been working on for the past two episodes i think pretty sure that's what it's coming out to and this one obviously we're at the front of the car because hopefully the rear of the car is finished we're going to fix the brake lines um i think in part one i showed uh they're just not right the routing the, i let me get this thing in the air and I'll show you what we got going on because it, it makes me slightly concerned and the owner actually, you know, saw the video and said, hey, let's do something about that. So this episode, you know, more, more fun stuff that I like to do, breaks. Also, if you didn't notice, uh, yeah, it's a little, little different shop environment going on right now. Uh, throughout the holidays, hope you guys had a Merry Christmas and, you know, Happy New Year's to you. Uh, so, some work has been being done here, you know, upgrades, if you will. But I digress and regress to this car, which we're working on. Let me get it up into the air and uh, show you what we got you know, going on, what we're working with. All right, guys, car's levitating. <laughs> but, uh, wait, let me, hold on, let me get this off. <laughs> Gently place that on the ground and don't drop it. Come here, I got a mess. Construction, terrible. Any Anywho, what we got going on here, it's my poor camera skills. Anywho, what we got going on here is uh, this brake line. It, she's a little pinchied. Um, yes, the, uh, the vehicle is at, you know, suspension droop, so it will go up when the you know, weight goes on it. But that, that's one thing. Um, the other thing is, it's not right. This is going at a hard angle, and I don't know how long it's been on here. It's already dry rotting. I could probably clean it up and see the lines, but we're gonna we're gonna change that. The big concern is, hold on, let's get let's get you off the tripod. When uh, just just watch this line and this when it goes full turn. She starts rubbing on the old uh, old upper control arm. It's not ideal. So what we're gonna do is take, I have a mess going on. What we're gonna do is scooch back more. Jeez, this is, can you tell I haven't, rec can you tell I haven't recorded in a few days? Um, what we're gonna do is take uh, this brake caliper and move it to the Passenger, yeah, passenger side and put the passenger side on driver's side and it's going to move this line up here so that it'll be more of a, a relax and get it the hell out of the way. Plus the bleeder screw will be on the top. I mean, they had to have had a nightmare bleeding this unless they did the whole... I don't know what they did. I mean, not really, you know... Shock and awe, I guess is what I'm getting at. But uh, let me uh, let me start... Well, let me get the other tire off this way. We're just going to whoop whoop real quick. Um... Well, it is an empty kit, so. It's, it's been a long week, waiting on parts, re remodeling, if you will. I'm just, you know, procrastinating story time is what I'm getting at right now. But <laughs> let, me, uh, let me get the other side off and I'll get right back to you. All right, the other side's off. Uh, man, come here, light. Every, oh, well, don't unplug now. Uh, 
think I said in the intro, you guys have a good uh, holiday weekends, weekends, pluralized, good start to a new year because not going well yet <laughs> for me. Anywho, all right, guys, other, other wheel is off. Um, I think the plan, which I don't, I don't make very well, is I'm going to take the line off from the, uh, the master side, soft line. Take it off from uh, take it off from there. Now we're gonna unbolt the caliper, then take the line off, and then I don't know sw switch them. But I got to replace the rubber as well. I have new rubber lines, the the, the crack ones. I'll show you the difference. But uh, all right, let me. What do I need? Thirteen. That looks about right. Let me get a let me get some uh, you know wrenches, spanners, what have you, and. Uh, Start, start ripping this thing apart. All right, I'll be back. All right, tools got wrangled up or wrestled or found, mainly found because I don't know where anything is anymore. Well, I mean, I do. It's just, you know, not where I left it. Anywho, what I was saying is, I'm gonna start by getting this brake caliper loose. Is that, is that loosen? Yes. Um. Oh, man, do I need another freaking right? No, I got an impact. That's probably why that one wasn't tight. Is that off? So I can't get a tool other than a wrench in there. NASCAR. You go there. You can't see what I'm doing. I'm taking the bolts out of the caliper. Maybe I'll move you, but my tool bench is in the way. Oh, okay. Seeing how you're nice. We'll move you some. Anyway, where's the light? Beep. Not that it really helps. So we'll just loosen the caliper so that it's one less thing I have to do. Get a little compression on it. Show sure wiggle off. Perfect. All right, now I gotta wrestle and try to get this uh, brake line thing off. You definitely probably can't see what I'm doing back there. I like taking the uh, retainer clip, the little, you know, whatever, line, line clip, whatever, uh, off first because then nothing's really flippy floppy. Because once I get this brake line off, I'm um, gonna shove a. I lost it. Where did you go? Try to, you know, save on some fluid loss. I'm gonna, uh, once I get this line off, just boop, vacuum plug on the end of it. Uh, hopefully, you know, minimize it from dripping all, all over the place. So, are you going to not cooperate? Probably. Oh, you moved. And now my vice grip's stuck. Well, that was dumb of me. All right, well, that moved. A lot easier than I was expecting, to be honest. I usually like starting on the driver's side because it sort of has the less amount of room because of the steering. All right. That clip. Sometimes they're just a pain in the butt. Well, that one's flat as heck, so. All right, let's... Try to get this line off. Should be an 11 back there. Invest in line wrenches. Um, even if you go, you know, cheap harbor freight. It's better than nothing. Is the guess what I'm getting at. The last thing you want to do, especially because you're working, you know, give or take behind you, um, is round those threads. Because then you'll have a bad day. And I don't know about you, but my eyes are up here, guys. I don't know about you, but uh, I try to minimize my bad days. All right, that's off, that's off. And we'll take our little plug. and boop it on. 
All right, so I'll, uh, you know, minimize the, uh, the leakage. And now I got stuff on my hands. But, all right. Pull this off. There we go. One brake caliper off. I'm not even going to compress the piston any more than that because I want to, you know, eliminate bleeding and, you know, ease of install on the other side. Because this thing's still semi-loaded. Uh, but you can see. I also tell you guys, don't hang stuff by lines. But see now, I'm not going to use this line. I don't care. Um, the, the, they end down here, guys. Not, not all the way down here. So, uh, is there a part number on this? I'm going to bore you. There is. I'll look up the part number later, see what the heck uh, this thing's off of, or for. Because I've never, I've seen them routed like that before. I'm kidding, I haven't. Um, but what I think had happened is that stamped L. The other one's stamped R, you know, left, right. The problem lies when you actually put them on the left and right side, those bleeder ports, as you can see, and the, uh, the fluid inlets are shooting forward and down. So your factory lines won't work. So that's why I'm curious on how much research they did to find what line would work. Because it's like a 24 inch run at that point instead of uh, 1819. So I'm not sure. My mental Rolodex doesn't, doesn't jive with any uh, Volkswagen components that would work on that. But let me, uh, I'll get back to you on this side. Let me strip down the other side and uh, we'll, we'll put, uh, those pads look good. That's a good thing. Um, yeah, they're fine. Anyway, as I was saying before I get distracted like I normally do, well, um, let me uh, strip down the other side, get into the same state, and then we'll uh, re, uh, reconnect, you know, as... I'll show you what I'm doing when I get the other side stripped. Put it back together. That's what I'm getting at. Stay tuned. All right, guys. Uh, stripped the other side. Jump, jumped ahead just a scotch. I swapped the line. Uh, took the old one out, put the new one on. And uh, like I said, this one's now stamped R for, you know, the right side or the correct side. I guess I didn't want to stamp a C. But anyway, uh, this now just goes on. Like so, put the hardware back in it. Put, put the hardware back in it. Why aren't you going back in now? Well, you're going in, so that's good. We're one for two. Come on, grab. Grab a little better. There we go. It's on. It's on. Lose my. Nope. Taking this brake line. The new one. All right, and well, move, let's move everything and show you guys. Hey, get off things, please. Thank you. You see what the hell I'm talking about? Sort of. Now the uh, the line. There we go. Now the line's pointing up. Bleeder screw is up. You know, using the uh, R for correct caliper on this side, and this uh, rubber line. You probably won't see it. I'll show you after. Um, we'll actually, you know, plug you do into where it needs to go and actually take. 
it will plug into into where it goes and actually take some load off of a uh, um the articulation the angles uh of turning i guess is what i'm trying to say so let me uh let me reorientate stuff and uh i'll get this thing hooked up installs the same as uninstall so um yeah just boop and in and tighten the lines and i'll show you after it's, a, it, it's really claustrophobic working in here um so and i i know i got a good you know back profile but i i don't i don't think you want to stare at that while i ramble but as always when i find something like inevitably i will i'll uh I'll, I'll turn all this stuff on and, uh, you know, chime in for you guys. But it's going pretty, pretty, pretty straightforward right now. Uh, you know, caliper strip, uh, strip, huh? uh, swap. But stay tuned. Let me get this thing all, you know, plumbed in and I'll show you what we're, what we're looking at. Well, developments have happened. You know, who would have saw that? I have to, you know, make a new, you know, hard line. Let me get this made and shoved in and i guess show you why you know it's always the nice cars always it goes smooth to a point but anyway let me uh, uh make a line put it in continue what i was doing with installing that and then uh i'll get back to you with you know the aftermath plan all right new brake line is in also remember when you make your own brake lines do your best flare first then cut it off and put on the fitting uh tech tip you know all all of us uh expert builders like to do that but anyway let me uh, bring you in here and show you what uh what we got going on what i kind of had to do to make this thing work to my my liking it would have worked before would have worked without what i just did but I, I i didn't feel comfortable with it so let me bring you in here and show you what we got going on New lines obviously routed into uh, that. And I did have to, I don't know if it'll pick up. My camera's a little big, but uh, I did have to Z, you know, Z that bracket some to uh, bring the, uh, I had to Z the bracket to bring this forward some. Hence why I had to make a new line to, uh, you know, facilitate and the need to um, have this line reach so oh yeah it's up and down and relaxed now it's not you know not binding and then uh, all the effort and same thing on the other way so now it has left and right steering without uh, you know putting a pinch on the uh, soft line because that was bad but let me uh go to the other side wrap that side up and believe these brakes and we'll see how this uh you know this goes i'm hoping i don't have to make another line for the other side it's whoever made or used the line on this side I'm not saying it was wrong but i could tell there's a part number on it and it was uh you know just just the right length so uh, I could usually can get away with, you know, bending some out, but this was uh, definitely not bending or filling the gap that I needed. So I just opted to use, you know, new brake line, big whoop. Um, but what the hell was I doing? Oh yeah, let me do the other side and uh, I'll get back to you with the, we'll bleed these things out and probably go on a test drive finally. I'm, I'm excited to drive this thing, I guess is what I'm getting at. All right, passenger side's done. Went, you know, as seamlessly as the other side. I did have to pull the fuel line, put the line on the other side of the, into the tunnel. Not a big deal. And then there was enough loop to burp, push it to get the relaxed fit on the uh, passenger side. So right now, I'm gonna struggle and hopefully bleed these brakes fairly easily. It did have them, you know, when it showed up. So we'll, we'll, we'll see how well this goes good enough oh well now the car's down there but uh let me see how much fluids in this right now oh. boop oh i can't reach it uh. well 
I'm also a derp. And I lock myself out. Christ. Anywho, I was testing you guys. If you didn't know, the hood pops on the driver's side. Why was I thinking, well, I just worked on brakes on the passenger side one. There we go. <sighs> Everything's so shiny. Everything's so shiny under here. Ugh. Come out! Oh, why? Don't be, don't be, don't be stuck. Everything. Well, what are you? Come out! Ow! All right. Oh, good. I guessed on a master. Look for the lines. Well, they were going to uh, the front, so. Uh, that's where I started. You're definitely gonna need fluid. Oh, funnel. Deep. Any day now, there we go. Drink up, fella. All right. Start on the passenger side over here and uh, see if I get all the air out and get brakes to work. Yes, I have the fancy ble uh, vacuum bleeders and that the old bottle and straw works the best. I mean, what do you, what do you, what do you guys use? All right, Ugh. line came off. Oh, because it's split. Well, I need scissors. I have the end to this thing, and I completely don't know what I did with it. But anyway. Crack that. Let's see if she'll bleed. Oh. Thought I locked that door too. Oh. It smells nice in here. All right, six pumps. Let's see what happens. Well, definitely flu came out, so that's good. Snug this side down. Boop. Now let's move on to the old driver. Bubbles already. One thing I like about the driver's side is usually I can move that bottle out far enough so that uh, I can actually see what's going on. Bubbles. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Ah, ah, ah. Just stop bubbling. Snug her down. Let's see, we got brakes. Couple pumps, you know, build pressure on it and, uh, you know, compress the old calipers. And hopefully she'll stop. Oh, almost immediately. 
Perfect. Let me make sure both these uh, ran down. So they should have some drag on them now that the uh, calipers moved. And they do. Or they, meaning one. So that one does. Let me move tools so I can lose them. Boop. And the other side, we have drag on this side. Yep. All right. Calipers are in. Let me uh, zip the wheels back on this thing. Well, you know, altitude it. How the brake fluid do? Not too bad. I mean, while I'm here, I guess I can top this off. You know, full service shop and all. That's $7, 14, 21, 38, plus tax, uh, 40. Wow. I didn't realize I bled down that much. Anyway, uh, fluid tabulation, that's going to be an extra, you know, like 80 bucks. You know, because, you know, I smiled when I did it. You get service with a smile. Anywho. That's on. Let me button this thing all up together, get the wheels on it, and uh, we'll take it out and see how she does. Because last video was the last time this thing ran, so I'm curious if uh, how cold start is, so on and so forth. So I guess what I'm getting at is stay tuned. We're, we'll be on the road shortly. I hope. I mean, the rails just keep falling off. I can't help it. I'm not an engineer, you know, with the choo-choo. That's a semi. Do, do trains horns go like that? I don't know. If you're staying tuned, I'm sorry. We'll be driving, uh, hopefully, in the next clip. What's up, guys? All right, it's the, uh, actually, it's the next day. Um, ran a little late when I said we were going on test drive, but it is the next scene. Uh, just got dark. Don't like driving customers' cars at night. Um, or, you know, dust. Too many guys on the road and shiny cars make me nervous driving. Anywho, so it's a complete cold start. Let's see, uh, let's see how she does. Uh, I'll get it fired up and uh, let her warm up and then we'll, we'll take her out. Give her a pump and turn. Right now. But let me get this thing warmed up and uh, be back to you with the, you know, test drive. See how this thing goes. professionally closed test track in Mexico so we can properly you know drive this thing I got a 
to get on the people at my test track. It's uh, it's getting really bumpy. are good. You know, I wanted to get her at that old highway speed. You know, have her bring her around. Where am I going? Just make a loop and we'll, we'll spin her back. I don't trust it. Please her on back by herself. bumps all the time. All right. No bump. Running. Reps out. Yeah. Good pulls. Engine sounds solid. She's idling nicely. This is a cold day here. But yeah, ship's fine. No, uh, none of that 009 bog. I do have the engine, I think, a little higher on the uh, RPM. Our dresser is gone. What if people need clothes now? Well, fine. I'm gonna put it on my timing gun, see what that, uh, the engine's actually turning. I don't know if it's, um, actually, you know, ripping to the moon, or, you know, high idle, or if it's just the air in the exhaust. Because that, that exhaust is, uh, I don't know if you can pick it up, you probably can. It's pretty, it's pretty ticky. Well, throaty. Let me shut this off. A couple things I do, like I said, want to test the idle, uh, see what it's at. I don't know if it's the exhaust or if the engine's actually a little higher. Um, not a not a big deal regardless. Uh, let's see how she refires. No gas, turn the key. She's good with the hot starts, she's good with the cold starts. But let me, uh, let me, uh, let me get out of here and uh, we'll do a we'll do a formal recap, if you will. Hang on, I'll be right with you. All right, guys. Obviously, I'm out of the car. We're doing the recap. Car did really well once she warmed up. It seems like she's a little like most Volkswagens, you know, a little boggy when super cold. Once she warms up, everything comes into her own, and that's good. Uh, brakes, brakes work. You know, like brakes, they stop, the pedal's good, it's firm. Um, I'm not gonna say it's gonna throw you through the front windshield. I mean, I'm, I'm a little tubby, I don't think I'll fit. But she's not gonna uh, lock up or anchor down that, uh, that hard, which is nice. Uh, engine's good, obviously runs, like I said, once she gets warmed up, everything's perfect. Brakes are good, what else did we do on this thing? Do, do, do. The steering, eh, still feels a little notchy. I don't know if that's the way the car is or if the uh, steering box is still having a little bit of issues from being loose so long. But anyway, gonna tell the owner all my concerns, obviously, as I'm telling you, but I'll tell him in person. Um, tell him to get a couple miles on this thing. I know it's cold, it's not really driving season, the car doesn't have any heat. So 
tell him, you know, get it out for a bit, uh, get a couple miles on it, you know, or well, more than a couple, like, you know, maybe seven. I don't know. But we'll have him uh, come back just so I can go through it with the extensive. Basically, I want to check on those rockers, make sure they're not wearing funny still. Um, if it does have a cam in it, the lift ratio might be, I don't, there, there's speculation I still have with this engine on why those got chewed up as bad as they did. But like I said, this is why I'm getting a couple miles under the belt on this thing. And, uh, you know, I'll just bring it back for a quick, you know, quick service. I'll, I'll do a splash and dash on the oil and just make sure all of our repairs are still good. Uh, but with that said, if you like this episode, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. If you do, I promise you, we will chit chat. As always, thanks for watching and hopefully see you on the next one.